Today, we repair a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, a compact foldable smartphone. According to the customer, the phone suddenly stopped powering on during normal use. First, we'll remove the back cover. This cover has a small secondary screen, and this flex cable connects to it. We use high temperature adhesive tape to protect the camera during disassembly. Next, we unscrew all the screws one by one. Samsung is renowned for its display technology as many of you know, but whether this phone's build quality holds up, that's for Samsung users to decide. After removing the motherboard, we observe that the device has never been repaired before. The thermal protection sticker over the CPU is intact and pristine. The motherboard is compact and features a dual-layer design. Given this design paired with the Snapdragon 888 CPU, I suspect overheating may be the culprit. The Snapdragon 888E's notorious heat output often leads to solder joint failures, causing boot issues, a common problem we see. Next, we'll attempt a CPU reinstallation to fix the phone. The CPU's upper shield is successfully removed. Samsung uses white adhesive here, which emits a strong odor when heated. After prying off the CPU, we apply flux to the solder pads and begin desoldering. Using a hot air station and soldering iron, we clean off residual adhesive and solder, then flatten the pads with solder wick and wipe them clean with a cotton swab. Now, we prep the CPU with residual glue and solder removed from both the CPU and its cache chip. We reball both components with fresh solder balls. The reballed CPU is then reinstalled onto the motherboard. The CPU is securely mounted. We reassemble the phone for testing. The Samsung logo lights up, and the system boots normally. Touch responsiveness works perfectly. Testing Wi-Fi, it activates and connects without issues. This Galaxy Z Flip 3 is fully repaired. All phone parts and tools are in tivo.com.